everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a great project for you today. We're calling this quilt two for one pinwheel stars because when you make one block, you actually get the beginnings of a second block as well. So let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Here we go. We've got this nice star right here in the middle. You can see this cute little star going on. And look over here. This leg over here on the corner is the beginning of a whole nother block. And so it makes these two sized star pinwheels that are just really adorable. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one roll of two and a half inch strips, and that's 40 of them. And we are using Oliver's Flower Garden, and it's from Lella for Moda Fabrics. And I mean, it's just darling. You can see the fabric behind me. You're going to need about three and a half yards of background fabric, and that's going to take care of all of this and your first border. So this is a six inch border, and you're going to need about a yard and a half for that. And it's going to give you a quilt that is 70 by 92, so it's a good sized quilt. So to make this quilt, what you're going to do is you're going to take your two and a half inch strip and we're going to lay ours right out here, just like this. Make sure this is all out of the way. And we're going to cut four four inch pieces and four six inch pieces. So I'm going to take my ruler. Now because it's folded in half, I'm going to get two every time I make a cut. So here's my four, four inches and one more set of four inches. And then we're also going to need four six inch pieces. So we're going to make sure our, make sure your, your strip stays nice and straight. So there's two, and then we need two more. And this is all you're left with right here, that little bit. So you're going to, you have four fours and, f and four sixes. All right, so now from your background fabric, you're going to need to cut a strip, a four inch strip, and a two and a half inch strip. So I'm going to come right along here and I'm going to cut a four inch strip right here, and a two and a half inch strip here. And then from your four inch strip, you're going to cut four inch blocks. Now, for every single block, you need four of these. So you'll see, see right here. I almost did this without showing you. This is folded in half and in half again. So I am actually cutting four strips every time I make a cut. And so you want to make sure that your selvage is right here. You're going to trim those off and you want to make sure that even though they lay down inside that you're getting all of those because you don't want those in your block. So we're cutting those and then we're going to come over here and cut four inches and we're going to get four at a time. One, two, three, four. And four is what you need for each block. So out of each strip, I can get two, enough fabric, enough squares cut for two and a half because I'm left here with this little fold and I can open that up and get another four inch piece out of that. So two and a half blocks out of each strip. All right, so now we're gonna need, we're gonna dog ear the corners of our strips. So we're gonna need some little two and a half inch strips and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to grab my little ruler over here. I'm going to cut off my salvage. See this salvage right here? He's hiding inside there, so he's in there a little bit deeper. And we just need to make sure that we trim all that off because we don't want, we don't want him in our block. So we're cutting. We need eight of these. And you'll actually get 16 blocks out of each two and a half inch strip. We're just going to, we just need eight to show you this block. So. I'm going to stop cutting right there. That was hard for me. I sure wanted to finish cutting that strip. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little strips and I'm going to lay them out here just like this. And each one of these strips, we're going to dog ear or snowball the corners. And uh, that means we're going to take our little two and a half inch squares and where you're going to draw the line or press the line. I'm going to press the line on these. And honestly, once you sew a few of these, you're going to get pretty good at this. So you're not even probably going to have to press because it just gets really easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our squares and we're going to set them on top of our strip just like this. And we're going to sew right on that line, trim this off and iron this back. And that's what I mean by, by dog earring or snowballing all the strips. Now here's what you have to remember with this block. All your long blocks have to go the same direction. 
all right? So make sure you watch that. All your short blocks are gonna go exactly the opposite direction. It doesn't matter which direction they go, it matters that they're opposite, all right? So make sure you do that. Now I have a block over here that's started, so I can show you how to do this. So I have, here's, this is a pink block I started, and uh, here is a long one and a short one. And we are gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just finger press these. You can press them on the machine or, um, I mean with the iron or with, uh, or draw your line. I'm just finger pressing these and make sure they're opposite. Now, because I've already started this block, I wanna look and see which way my corners are dog-eared to make sure that they're going opposite directions so I don't have to rip it out. So that one's going this way, and this one is going this way, right? Pick it up and look. Nope, this way. All right. So now we're gonna come over to the sewing machine and sew them. And I'm gonna sew right on that press line. Make sure my square is on there really nice. and sew down the side. All right, there's our one, and then here comes the next. And you're gonna do this to all four of your shorts and all four of your longs. All right, now we're gonna trim these off, right here. And I'm just laying my ruler, you can see right here. If you can see that stitch line, I'm just laying my ruler on a, a quarter of an inch away from the stitch line, trimming over. And you're always trimming away from your, the long part of your fabric. If you cut off the other side, you gotta make a new strip. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna press these open. And there we go. So these two are done. Now to make this block, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our four inch blocks right here, and it has a little crease, so I'm just gonna quickly iron that out so it lays nice and flat. And we are gonna iron this on, or sew this on to the block. So let me get rid of these. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to put this so that it, the, the most fabric lines up with the background. We're gonna put it on here, and we're gonna stitch that a quarter of an inch right down. Alrighty, line these up, make sure they stay nice and lined up. And then we'll press that back. Alrighty. So now the tall block here, this long block, we're gonna put on here so that it lays against it. Also, most of your fabric is gonna go right to your background as well. We're gonna lay that right over and sew that down. This is one of those where if, you're, if your seams are a little bit off, you can catch that seam uh, in another seam. So don't die if it doesn't match up exactly. Just go ahead and sew your seam and the little part that's off will, will, uh, will just disappear in there. All right, so I'm gonna press this now. All right, so now we have this block right here and I have four more that I've made and we're gonna put them together. Now, there's two ways actually that you can put this together. This is the way we did. I wanted my big star in the center to be one color. My pinwheel star. I love how it pinwheels. I love how it looks like a star. To me, they kind of look like those little ninja stars and uh, they're just kind of cute. So I wanted my big star in the center and that's how we sewed our block together with this way and this way, you know, just to make like a big four patch makes your block. You can also put it together if you want your little stars to be the ones that match. Look at that. Now your little stars match. Now the reason I chose the big one, let's look at this quilt, is because I wanted these big ones to pop. These little ones out here, they make that secondary star. But that's up to you. That's entirely up to you. So let's put this back so that now we have our big star in the middle. And we're going to sew this together. We're just going to lay it right here just like we would a four patch, these two sides together here, here and here, and we'll take them over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna get rid of this. And we'll sew a quarter of an inch down the side 
This makes a really quick block really fast. This actually, for me, it changes the way I think about these two and a half inch strips because, you know, we always think of doing these strippy things. Well, this takes a strip and turns it into a block, which I love. All right. Once you get your two sewn together, we're gonna go ahead and sew our next two together like this, just like a four patch. We're gonna make sure our seam nests in the center. We want one seam going one direction and one seam going the other. And because I didn't press them, I probably should have, <laughs> but I didn't. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead along here and I'm gonna sew and when I get to the middle, I'm just gonna make sure one of my seams is going that way and one of my seams is going this way so they line up in the center. Sometimes, you know, you just get like a horse to water. You gotta finish that block and see what's gonna happen. So now we're gonna open this up. Looks pretty good and I'm gonna press it. Now I like to press from the top make sure my block is nice and flat and then I can flip it over and if there are seams that I want to go a certain direction um, I can make them go that way then. Alrighty. So that looks pretty good. Now let's look what happens when we lay this out. So I've got some blocks made here just like this and I've got one little row that's even sewn together. So here's, here's our row that's sewn together and really you just sew them together like this. What you're going to do is you're just going to sew them together and just by doing that these secondary blocks out here form. Now there's something I want to point out. You, you just must, must see this as we put these together like this. Okay, here they go. So see right here, really look carefully at this. These two blocks, these two stars do not line up. You do not have to match them. So just so you know, so, so when you start putting these together, do not try to match these and get so frustrated because they don't, they don't match up. They just, they have that little notch. It's just like this one over here is a bigger notch, but this one is close enough that it almost makes you feel like you've got to go back and put a pin in there. Well, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. So the way they come together, they just come together as this little pinwheel star up here. So let's look at our quilt. So we've got one, two, three, four, five across here and seven down. So 35 blocks. There are 40 strips in a roll, um, which leaves us with a few for maybe a table runner or something. Uh, so this is the size you get, five by seven. So it makes a good size quilt. I hope you enjoyed this. I loved making it. I love it when we can uh, take a block and put, get a little twist, especially when something secondary appears. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the two for one pinwheel stars quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. So wait, one more thing. I forgot to show you the backing and the backing is so cute. You've got to see this. Look how darling that is. Oh, just makes it so cute. And for the backing, you're gonna need five and three quarter yards. So have fun making this. We'll see you later.